Well, good Friday morning and welcome to Barking Bird. It is, yeah, it's a Friday and it's a cloudy Friday. It's not particularly cold, 62 degrees out. It's supposed to warm up, um, but there there is no sun. There's no wind either. So again, it's not, a, it's not an ugly weather day out, I'm happy to say, because you know, I like good weather. Uh, we are not heading out to garage sales today. We do have the enormous burrito. We do have the cup of coffee. And we are off to value bins. The last trip went so well that I decided, heck, we may just make this a habit. Um, at least until garage sale season fires up in, in earnest. Uh, anyway, um, it ought to be a good day over there. And uh, we will show you what we found when we leave. Well, here we are at Value Bins again. We'll see what happens today. We can look over here. There's not as much of a line today as there has been, well, as there was last time I was here. Um, see if we get in a little quicker, maybe a little less, a little less competition. What? Sharp Yeah, like a I tried using one of those on my wit once. It didn't work. <laughs>
Hey, fun. Man. How you doing? Wilson? Good. Good. What's going on? Man, I watched a video last night. The I saw. Black, I saw, saw your comment. Yeah. Th yeah. Thanks for telling about this place. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> Hopefully yeah, I they don't uh, do like you said the other one did. Start Rikio cherry picking and shit. I, I, well, I don't think no. They this do. this is a completely different situation. Mm -hmm. That place first set up as a, a place that just buys stuff to sell, not like this. And they have about eight bins in it, and they're open. I don't know. Maybe this week, maybe not. Oh. And yeah, there's this, this. They ain't doing the same thing here. Yeah, you I did, just never know. What you I did end up with one bureau claim out of the stuff I found last week. Uh -huh. So uh, Philip Sonicare uh, toothbrush heads. Oh, toothbrush. Yeah, yeah. So. so. Yeah, I usually come back on Dollar Day too. So. Dollar Day, of course, you don't have to. There's not much there, but what you find. Yeah, you only have, have to make to like worth much. You make 15 bucks. Pretty good. Yeah. Like you say, buy yeah. something for a dollar and sell for fifteen, and you can make pretty good. That's that, that's that's long, especially if it sells quick. I've sold all but two things I found nice. last week already. Nice. One all is those, the all those calculators? overnight, that's awesome. twelve hours. Yeah, I should ask more for those. That's awesome. Yeah, the um, what I didn't sell I other than that. that was the uh, one of these things, mm -hmm. TV antenna. Found two more of them this week, but there I think go. those are. Okay, cool there. Yeah. I don't even I'm... have to ask you what you got. I'll find out later. Yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So. Yeah. Well, that's good, man. Yeah. You find yeah, anything okay. interesting? Yeah, I got some stuff in there. I don't know what all I got. Well, this seat looks pretty good, which I was surprised. I oh like yeah. No, those can be good. That thing, I think it's pretty good. I saw somebody else on YouTube. Yeah, those can be good. They can. This, they're hitting this. This is a good one. Is it? It's a wig. Okay. No, it's a. Oh. Oh. Okay. I thought it was. I saw it. I, 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 saw, I saw a wig on here brand somehow. New, like a couple of arms. Nice. Be worth fifty or something. There you go. Well, yeah, that's. I don't know if I can say it's brand new. <laughs> Most of this stuff's been, you know, returned. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. The electronics can be hit and miss, yeah. but, but yeah, I mean, I found, what's the real risk? I found some good over the past. I've been coming here about. I think they've been open about four months. Yeah. Yeah, I found some good stuff, and sometimes I'll see like a whole bunch of them, one thing, and then I come back on Dollar Day and get them in there. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing some stuff here that I'd buy for a dollar, but not for yeah. seven. I found yeah. a few, I probably found a couple items. Those there. things, for instance. Yeah, for a dollar, that'd be good. Yeah, and there's, yeah. they're everywhere. But for seven bucks, yeah. they ain't worth the, they ain't right, worth the right, effort. Exactly. So. I found a couple of items worth about a hundred. Yeah. Sometimes it's like the, the smallest thing is a little. Uh, oh, yeah. I got one was like stuff you put under your eyes, you know, for women. Like, like makeup, kinda, huh? Well, it was like some sort of uh, makeup lines away or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was a little thing like this that sold for 120 bucks in one day. Isn't that crazy? I love it. I love it because nobody else saw it. <laughs> nobody else saw the darn thing. Yeah. I, of course, I did the next now, hour. Now you got me reaching for the little stuff. I, I spent the next <laughs> hour looking for another one. Never, yeah. <laughs> well, when I found those. I found those calculators last week. Uh -huh. I, spent, I spent the next 20 minutes looking for more. What? That's a good point. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. See? Here you go. Is that one of the ones you... No, no that's, that, that, that's not what it was, but it's for Sonicare. Oh, Ansco Sonic toothbrush, yeah. 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 I gotta look those up. Getting to the point where I'm gonna start looking stuff up. I've been through most everything. Right. Now I gotta go through what I found and I met a couple see what I'm there. gonna put back. You see that couple over there in the corner, way over there? The, yeah. Yeah, I was talking a little bit ago. They um they they got a flea, flea market booth. Okay. Up in Ramona. Okay. So they buy they buy a ton of stuff here. But I yeah. sell them all my stuff I don't want. I don't think you know, like this bad buys or mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. whatever you don't want to sell on eBay. Yeah. Or you don't want to get tired of sitting around. Yeah. I sell it to them dirt cheap. Mm -hmm. I, I used to save it all and have a yard sale. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is much better. Yeah, you get rid of it quick. Challenge, now, challenge them a with a yard sale is. Stuff. Challenge with a yard sale is you ain't outsourcing. Yeah. You know, that's. Uh, but I get rid of a, a big load of stuff for like 50 bucks. Yeah. Like, I've sold them like. Because I had. Been doing this for a couple of years and I mm -hmm. had a bunch of crap on you know, stuff you shouldn't have bought or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And uh, might be dirty or anyway, I sold them like, like a big, like four tubs of stuff for 50 bucks. But I did it like eight times. You know, so I, 
I made four hundred dollars on the ground. You know. <laughs> yeah. I didn't yeah. have any yard sale. I, mean, I probably yeah. would make a little more on yard sales, but yeah. what a hassle. Yeah. Were, were See, you interested? And I just meet them here and give it to them. Were you interested in one of those knives? Oh, did you find one? I found two. Really? Yeah, I, I had one. Do you think they were? I don't know. I haven't looked. Well, but um, they didn't, they didn't have a brand. Let me see. I uh, can sell a lot of knives, but usually, you know, it's like everything else. It's all about brand on either. That's pretty good. Yeah. One one guy was sitting there talking about it, and I showed her. Hey, this is what they look like. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't have the knife yet. That's what I've got right now. What is that? Is it empty? Hand sanitizer. Oh, that's fine. So I, I found another one. She said, she said man, I hope I found one of those brand, knives. Is there a brand on that one? Hmm. Sharp World. Hmm. Yeah, that would be an interesting one. I, I, I got it. I, I, got, I got no use for it, but you know, it's kind of a prize today, so I, yeah, right. I figured, well, you know. Yeah. And the, when I found the he second one, were, the gal told me, that the, this, this gal was saying, boy, I want one of those for my brother. I said, well, if I don't decide, if I decide not to take this, I'll come find you. And then three minutes later, I find a second one. Oh, nice. So I tracked her down. That's good. I, I've sold a lot of knives on my eBay store. Yeah? I've never, I don't think I've ever sold one. I got one on there for a thousand bucks. I actually, that was my best find ever at the yard sale. Yeah. I bought one for 135 and I sold it for 2000 it was like all engraved, and it had on there one of three prototype. And I, I was able to look it up on WordPoint. Do you have that? I do not. I do not have that. That's the only reason I knew what it was worth. Was worth yeah. is that somebody had sold one of those three knives for two thousand. Wow. It, didn't take, it took about six months, I guess. See, a fifteen-inch knife had. probably isn't worth much. And it, it was over a pound, you know. Yeah. Is that, is that a brand? No, name? That, that's. Just no. what it looks like. I looked up the brand brand that it says, and oh, okay. nothing came up. Huh. So I just looked up 15 inch knife, and yeah. this is it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, but I have sold a lot of knives on there that I bought it. State sales and yard sales and stuff. Yeah, I don't know much about them, so I don't pick them up. I've got a lot of fishing reels. That's something I need to look at more. I need to. But most I time I, I see fishing poles and fishing reels, and I look at them, and they're off brand. And they're in terrible shape. The, um, so, so yeah, I just what I walk do by on the fishing rods. Is I, I, I was just selling the reels. Yeah. And I would sell the rods at the yard sale. You know, mm -hmm. rod of fishing rods. You know, I sold yeah, all yeah. the reels. Right, right. Some of the rods were worth money, so I finally bought, bought the right tube. Mm -hmm. And it's not that you'd be well, surprised. A rod this big will ship for like ten bucks. Even in one piece. What? Well, yeah, they're light. Yeah. I was really that makes sense. And they're only said, the I think. Tubes are, yeah. I buy two two tubes. They're four foot long. Uh -huh. One and telescope. One bigger, one smaller. Put it over top of the other one. Uh -huh. And nice. Uh, and it, you can wrap one up in five minutes too. Kind of like what I do with with golf clubs. I take the post office mailing tubes and telescope. Yeah. Uh, so they're they're free. I, went I, I can fit a I can fit a full set of golf clubs and a full set of irons in there. Yeah. yeah. I started buying. Uh, Six by six by four foot boxes for those. I've got I've got the I've got those for, for drivers. Yeah. And the rates are going up on USPS in, yeah. in, in April. I mean they're gonna be like anything over twenty one inches or something like that. Some particular length. I probably got the length wrong, it's gonna have like a fifteen dollar surcharge on it. Wow. So I at which at which time at which time I'll have to get you know a bunch of four by four by four foot. I think it's April 1st. It was supposed to be February 1st, but they backed it up. All right, well, we just finished up at Value Bins, and, well, I think I'll be coming back next week again. It was even better this week. Uh, we'll get right into it here. Let me see, what did we find? What is this one? It is a 96, X96 Max Plus. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's some sort of electrical stuff. Um, it's got a, there's a remote control, um, but there's going to be about $31 profit in it. That's all I really care about, and it's got a pretty good sell-through rate. Um, you saw last week I picked up, I don't know, it was one or two of those. I found two more of them this week. Was it two more? Yeah, two more. $16 each profit on those. 
Uh, that is a, a digital TV antenna. I found this thing. This was a real surprise. I looked at that and I said, oh my goodness. It is a uh, pinpoint. Again, I don't know what it is. It's some sort of remote control for something. Uh, that goes for, well, they're, they're selling for about 100 to 120 bucks. They have a terrible sell-through rate, though. There's about 130 of them for sale. There's about 12 that have sold. I'll probably list that for 90 and be the lowest one on there. Uh, that'll bring in about a, uh, be ship, cheap to ship, so we'll, we'll make, no, that ain't right. Probably make about $70 on that. Oh, I saw this one just out of the corner of my eye. I was just actually uh, quitting to um, go through stuff and see if uh, see what I wanted to keep, what I didn't want to. And this is not great, but it is uh, about a $30 item for about a $14 profit. This, I meant to pick this up and then check it and make certain it was worth buying. I forgot to check it. It wasn't really worth buying, but it's okay. It'll bring, bring about an $8 profit and it takes up almost no space. Second time I found one of these or something similar by this same company, um, found this at that other place that I talked about that um, kind of goes through the stuff. Apparently I didn't know what it is. It is a Polaris Razor starter. It's worth about a hundred bucks. It'll bring about $68 profit to me. That's a hundred plus shipping. Um, then I found these. Anybody want to take a guess at what that is? It is Samsung OEM water filters. I found five packs of these. The two packs uh, like this sell for about $28 each. So that's about $11 profit. We bring about $55 profit for the, the bunch of them. Then there was this. Before we went in, the guy told us, hey, look, there's three knives in there, and they're in boxes. So... Here's the box that I found, if you can see that. And I opened it up and there was hand sanitizer in it and this note said the knife that was in this box is at checkout. This is number two or three, one per family. So I didn't know what the heck I needed with a knife. If he hadn't made a big deal about it, I'd have probably not even picked it up. Um, and you're not gonna be able to see this very well. You can see it right there. Um, it is a, a 15 inch uh, Damascus steel knife. It's a pretty cool looking knife from what I can see. I think it's going to be worth about $40. It might be worth more. It's worth $40 on the low end. Um, that'll bring about a $20 profit. And well, that's all. But if you were keeping up and adding those numbers up, what you heard was about $287 worth of profit, which actually would be about $10 less than that because that pinpoint uh, thing, I did not have a profit figured right on that. About ten dollars lower, so really we're probably looking at about two seventy-seven in profit for a couple of hours work. I'm in. Um, anyway, now I've got to go to work at my real job, and uh, we will see you next time. Bear down.